Mary Meet, Annie here. The season of Samhain and the cosmos within. The season of Samhain asks us to consider that we contain the universe. Within us is the power of creation, destruction, and recreation. Within us is history, evolution, and memory. Within us is everything that has ever been and the potential for everything that will ever be. We're only as small as we choose to be. As inspiration, I offer this poem from Joseph Miller, and it's entitled Universe. I see the power of the universe to change remnants of chaos into majestic beauty. I feel the ripples of time and space reflected in my being, a child of the mountains, searching for gold. I dig into my soul to find my truth, buried in darkness, a beacon of light. I am in the glow of humanity, awakening to the oneness of the universe. And as a more recent inspiration, I offer a consideration from Neil deGrasse Tyson. I've just finished reading his book, Letters from an Astrophysicist. And after reading, and after reading, I looked over the notes I took while reading the book and, well, this one seemed aligned to today's vlog reflection from Neil. Recognize that the very molecules that make up your body the atoms that construct the molecules are traceable to the crucibles that were once the centers of high mass stars that exploded their chemically rich guts into the galaxy, enriching pristine gas clouds with the chemistry of life, so that we are all connected to each other biologically, to the earth chemically and to the rest of the universe atomically. That's kind of cool. That makes me smile and I actually feel quite large at the end of that. It's not that we are better than the universe. We are part of the universe. We are in the universe and the universe is in us. A poet and an astrophysicist, both equally fascinated with the universe without and within. Surely, we might take some time to consider the very same thing. I wish you all birth and reverence in the season of Samhain, merry part,